two girls walk by us and Bill said to these girls, hey, I bet you don't know anything about nuclear physics. And one of the girls turned around and said, oh yeah? And uh, Bill said to me, hey John, this girl knows about nuclear physics. <laughs> and I looked and uh, I married that girl. No <laughs> way. Yes. Holy shit. Welcome to another episode of Tea with Teachers. I'm Sina, and I'm here today with uh, Course 2 professor John Leonhard. Thanks for joining us. My pleasure. East Coast or West Coast? Uh, definitely East Coast. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Why is that? Because I've lived here 30 years. <laughs> <laughs> Favorite superhero? Favorite superhero? Um, wow, these are tough questions. <laughs> uh, I'll go with Batman. Okay. Yeah. Preferred footwear? Sandals. With or without socks? With socks. Yes, yes. Yeah. Oh, finally got yeah, someone the on the, the team. The only way, yeah, the only yeah. way. Did you play any sports back, I guess like, you know, recreationally back in the day or even now? Well, you know, when I went to UC San Diego, which is where I did my PhD, mm -hmm. uh, I took up running there. And so I was running, uh, I worked up to doing a couple of half marathons during nice. the course of being there. Do so. you run now to this day? Or? No, no, I got arthritis when I was 28. Uh, oh, wow. uh, psoriatic arthritis, it's an inflammatory arthritis of the joints, uh, and it, it basically wrecks some of the joints in my feet, thus the sandals. Yeah, you just have to get used to people wondering why you're wearing them with a suit and tie. <laughs> and you've done that before? <laughs> Many times. What do people say? Well, some of them ask me if I own any other shoes. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's like Slocum, he's allowed to just wear... Those uh, Hawaiian yeah, shirts, Hawaiian yeah, yeah, when he met President everyone. Obama. Exactly. Like, yeah, yeah, oh my yeah, God, that's yeah, so, yeah, so cool. Yeah, exactly. So could you tell us a bit about uh, you know your YouTube channel that you have? Uh, my YouTube channel, well, I, I do yoga, and I've, I've done yoga for years. I mean, that's what I took up eventually after I had to quit running. Eventually, about the time I was turning 50, I thought, you know, I've worked really hard on this. Let's see what happens if I put it on video. And so I made like 50 videos of yoga. The, the most viewed one is, you know, it's had a couple hundred thousand hits. Nice. Like well, what so, was the title of it? Uh, well, if I told you that, you'd find it. Oh, I guess what was the content about? The uh, content, it was, it was about, uh, it was handstands. Do you have any funny memories? Uh, funny from memories. Maybe college or yeah. even more recently? Last year, I, uh, I was out dancing with my wife. After a couple hours of one more dance, one more dance, oh I tore the soleus muscle in my leg. Yeah, a little tear. And, uh, you know, so I went to medical and all that, and da 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 But I, I got from them a medical uh, parking permit, which meant that I could put my car under the Roach Library Edition, Building 7A. I uh, was leaving one day, going home, and there was a car that was, you know, parked right in the middle of, you know, right in the center of where you would drive. You know, just, <laughs> just like they'd driven right in the middle, turned off the engine and walked out. And, you know, so I started to pull out, and I go, beep, beep, no response. So I go, beep, beep, no response. I go, beep, beep, no response. I said, okay, well, I'm, you talk about, you know, staying cool. Yeah. All right, so I got out of the car, I walked over to the driver's seat of this car, and I look in, and in the passenger seat is Chris Reif, the president's wife. And Ooh. I'm like, oh, I'm the guy who's honking at the president's, hi Chris, how are you? <laughs> she said, uh, Raphael had to run in for something. I said, I'll just back it out. <laughs> So I'm, I, I'm the schmuck who honked at the president's <laughs> wife. Do you have any wisdom that you'd like to impart to MIT students? Well, first piece of wisdom is that there are only classes, and in the long run, nobody's ever going to ask you what you got on your exam or what your grades were. Oh, God, were. that feels so good. Yeah, I have an no, exam it's true. next Friday. It's, it's true. It's true. The only time anyone's ever going to care what your grades were were when you apply to graduate school in your major. Mm -hmm. And, you know, when you go out for work, they don't pay so much attention. They're looking at where you graduated. And 10 years after you graduated, no one's ever going to want to know what your transcript was again. So. Uh, you should do your best, you should work hard on all that, but remember, it's just a class, it's just a test. Yeah. And what's important is what you learn from it and not whether you, you, know, you rang a bell.